Hello my friends, today I want to show you how to fix a dryer. No, I didn't just break it. This thing, it, it runs, hopefully I didn't break it. Anyways, it hasn't been heating up. So, I went on Amazon and I bought a heating element. I also bought these right here. So basically, um, the, okay, let's give me let's give us a moment here. Um, the thermal fuse, it looks like, is um, this. That's the thermal fuse. And, oh my word. Okay, so one of these is probably the dryer thermostat and the, and the other is the cycling thermostat. Um, what is it, 3977 is the dryer thermostat. That should be this right here. And then, um, 3387 should be the cycling thermostat. I may or may not replace all the stuff on it, but I got this looks like a yeah, dryer thermostat. But this right here, this is the heating element. So my friends, um, basically what happens, you can use like a continuity test or whatever it's called to go in and like cut it, check it. I don't want to do that right now. So you like, you can take your old one out and you can like hook it up. I, I may include a link for like, um, basically like a, Uh, piece of equipment but um i'm not gonna probably do that right now i'm just gonna probably just go ahead and replace it right now so um let's go ahead and start taking this off and uh, get to it hi right, my friends so let's go ahead and do this got a drill here let me get the uh um don't have to use a drill but it might speed it up right here so i want to go ahead now i do have it unplugged it's you know I don't want to probably go ahead and start working on something while it's plugged in. Oh my word. I might need to replace this dry cord too. Okay, so I want to go ahead and start um, doing this. Alright, there we go. And take that off. I feel like you need a uh, so let me go ahead and um, finish taking this off and show you what it looks like. All right, my friends, so the back is off. Here we are right here. I need to go ahead and um, I, do, I need to take out this screw and this screw and um, the heating element should be right here. And I, wanna go, I need to go ahead and disconnect this totally. Um, but let's go ahead and um, let me disconnect this. It's important that it's uh, replaced exactly the right way. So here, okay. Um, yeah, so this one comes up too, like that, and there we go. So there we go, my friends, like that. Um, so let's go ahead and hopefully this will fit here. Okay, so we got there. Watch out, my shoulder. Come here, and I'm going to take this screw out right here. Okay. And don't want to lose screws. So here we go. And we just kind of pop this out like here. So here's the old heating element. So I might actually do a video later, like a continuity tester, show how to do it. I may include the tool anyways to go ahead and test it. But um, it's really not, for me, it wasn't really that expensive to just go ahead and buy a new one. And so basically one of these may get like a, like it may not be connected all the way and it may not flow through and heat. So I want to go ahead and um, replace it um, with the new one. And um, <clears throat> go ahead and put this in. See, you may want to see if they look the same. So, all right. So I need to, um... okay. So basically this right here, what I could do is go ahead and take, maybe, maybe take this old one and put it back on the new one. But I actually want to just put like a whole new one on. And I don't really want to deal with the old one. And what... Let me get the exact name here for this. Um, I believe it's called the uh, dryer thermostat. So, um, so, let's go ahead and put this new part in. And we really want to make sure we have the same, we have it like the same. So, let's go ahead and... Um, so it looks like 
if we put this here, that fits right there. See that, how that goes here? So we wanna go ahead and, it looks like I might need to pull this up, but let's go ahead and slide this on, like so. And then, I think it actually goes down into it. Like that, what? Well, maybe that would work too. But this one, like, goes down into the hole. Right there. Yeah, this it has this thing right here to pull yeah. up, yeah. and I can like. Or you can put it under and push it down in. Let's try that. It looks like it works. How did they do it this one? Okay, they actually have it. I might try to go ahead and make it like that. They actually have it. It's a little different there. So let's go ahead and maybe we'll try it different. Um, oh my word. Actually, I don't even know if it's gonna work. Here. It might work that way that you have it. Okay, so guys, do your own research. Figure out how you want to do it. This is the way I might end up doing it. Um, or maybe I'll just switch it. Let's see here. Yeah, maybe I'll just maybe give me a moment here. All right, let's go here. Up. And. Oh, my word. I might need a pair of pliers or something. All right, let me go ahead and stop this and get a pair of pliers. All right, my friends, so I did this, let me do this, slide this on, stick it in. Now this needs to get pushed down. Might as well do it the same way they did it, and just be more on the safe side. And let's see here, I really don't wanna beat it, but Maybe I can get it down a little bit without this here. Okay. So you may not have to replace so much um, when you do this, my friends. Oh, it's not on right. You may not have to replace so much when you do this, but I went ahead and bought different things here, so. I really don't want to have to do all the work and then sit there and have it be the wrong way and have to come back and just, so I just want to go ahead and do like a, get this done the first time, right, the right way. Okay. Honestly, I think needle nose pliers would be better. I have a pair somewhere. Give me a moment, let me keep working on this. All right, so it looks like I have it in there. Now I just need to go ahead and shove it in a little bit more and um, I just use this to press. And um, putting in pressure. Okay, there we go. So it's in. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and put these screws here, this here. Here's the old one. Let's put that up there. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and slide this up. Um, and then let's go ahead and slide this here, put it on. Slide this here and go ahead and put it on. So there we go, my friends. That's um, pretty much replaced now. Um, I'm gonna probably go ahead and here. Um, let's get this lined up. So as you can see, it really wasn't that big of a deal. It's better than buying a new dryer. Um, that's how to replace it. It's not really super complicated. Um, I do need to put this, I know. 
Um, I'd like to start it before I use the drill. There we go. And... and this side needs it. <clears throat> and let's go. I may have to get like an actual like a uh, screwdriver. This is kind of like a tight fit to do this. I honestly don't know if I can make it work this way. Loosen this side up a little bit. And then I need to get this. There we go. And you may be wondering what's that noise? Hold on. Like, what's that noise? Basically, I can make it so it doesn't screw it in really tight by these numbers. So I can do like one, it doesn't, and this is more, it, it basically screws it in harder. And so um, <clears throat> it's nice to kind of have it so it doesn't like uh, do it too tight. So um, there we go, my friends. That is how <clears throat> to go ahead and um, replace it. There's the old one, there's the new. This thing has gotten quite a bit of use. So I uh, love you all, you're amazing. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, please give it a thumbs up. And um, please let me know what you think in the comments. And um, have a good one. Love y'all. And I may put uh, I, may, I may put links in uh, affiliate, uh, affiliate Amazon affiliate links in the description. Uh, if you click on them, if you click on them, I may make a purchase uh, commission. If you make any purchases, I may make a commission at no extra cost to you. So love y'all, and thank you for watching. Bye.